about the small people and we care about the small people. Trust. Do you trust the government?
in a buildup to the report we've got on FEMA camps confirmed, the actual rendition hubs confirmed, not only in L.A., but in dozens and dozens of sites all over the U.S., this program of military drills in the streets, helicopters flying over, simulated explosions that we've seen going on for decades. In the past, when you talked about this, they would say you were a kook. I mean, I, I, I could video this in Austin or San Antonio, and the news would say we're not going to cover it. And I'd have black helicopters firebombing buildings they'd covertly leased. Now when they do it, they admit, yes, the military is training to basically take on the American people, and it's a wonderful thing. Uh, so here's the article by Steve Watson. Military helicopters conduct covert exercises over U.S. bank buildings. This is all part of other drills going on to acclimate the public to being attacked by our own military that are happening here in the United States. Here it is. LAPD and elite military units conducted extraordinary counterterrorism training in the skies above downtown L.A. tonight. At one point, they made what appeared to be a drop-off at a park. Within seconds of landing, the helicopter was back in the air. It was a strange sight in the skies over Los Angeles. Military special forces flying a practice mission last night, and there are more exercises scheduled for today. And again, they have giant bases. They have military bases that have large buildings. They could do this on base. This is done to acclimate you for the end of Posse Comitatus, troops on the streets, and using the military against citizens. Oh, and of course, I've been talking about this for 16 years plus on air. Now it's all admitted, not just from leaked documents we got that the corporate prostitute media ignored. Now the NDAA, the John Warner Defense Authorization Act, NORTHCOM, Brigade Homeland, it's all admitted, the military training to take over your cities, to take over Capitol buildings and states that don't go along with these criminal orders. The worst thing is, is I finally saw something with my own eyes. It's one thing to talk about it and hear people talk about it on the radio, et cetera. I saw this with my own eyes at LAX, the Los Angeles airport. They've built a giant human... Uh, holding pen. It's, it obvious, it's quite obvious what it's for. It's for processing people. This thing, they used to park all of our limousines and cars and buses at the eastern end of the north set of runways. There's two sets of runways at LAX. They used to park all of us at the eastern end of the north runway where the planes would land right over the top of us. They moved us all out of there this past summer, which I thought was strange. What I saw was when I pulled in there, and I was followed twice by the cops when I pulled in and I took pictures. This thing is, it's a holding pen. It could hold thousands of people. It's right next to the tarmac. There's no buildings, no nothing. It's like a 10 or 12 foot fence with a permanent concrete base around the base of it. And there's two sets of barbed wire on top, facing in and out. So, it, you know, there's, there's fences like that all over around the airport area. Oh, they actually turns. have one of those at Bergstrom and at the old airport. These turnstiles, let me describe them. Because you could say, well, it's part of an airport. No. These things are, these are those big tubular steel turnstiles. They go in, they don't come back out. There's no way to get back out. There's four sets of them, so there's like 16 turnstiles that go into this thing. And it's like the size of three football fields. You could get thousands of people. The weird, the, the thing about it that proves what it is, is because there's a, on the fence that goes to the, onto the tarmac. It goes straight onto the airport tarmac. Where, you know, what kind of security is that? They put a big black gate in that you can, you can pull trucks, buses, whatever, into this holding pen. So it's built to move lots of people quickly into this pen and then move them onto the tarmac. Now, what is that for? You know, except to move people and put them onto aircraft? No, no, that's like the Oklahoma no City Federal Processing Center. I mean, this is, this is actually all in the Emergency Center's Establishment Act, and it's just these creepy crooks. And all the stuff with our money they've built against us because they know they're a bunch of crooks. Rendition hub to be able to bus people. You can see a bus here. Okay, look at the fences right here. All of this. This goes this way. This way. Oh man, it's 
passato, c'è alcune. Eh? Oh yeah, I think I made I made the wrong turn. I was supposed to be on the other side of 96. Yeah, this is the thing. Then you gotta be on the other side of the airport. Okay. Thank you. Hey, how do I get to go around? Budget cuts, dear. Congress blinded us overseas. I was forced to turn to any eyes and ears I could find, even if that meant recruiting the court, unquote bad guys here. Budget cuts? Is that what this is about? Operation Honeymoon? Fuck me. You're running a fundraiser. Fundraiser? 1993. World Trade Center bombing, remember? During the trial, one of the bombers claimed the CIA had advanced knowledge. The diplomat who issued the terrorist visa was CIA. It's not unthinkable they paved the way for the bombing, purely to justify a budget increase. You're telling me that you're gonna fake some terrorist thing just to scare some money out of Congress? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Hennessy, I have no idea how to fake killing 4,000 people. So we're just gonna have to do it for real. Oh, blame it on the Muslims, naturally. <laughs> then I get my funding. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! The Lord tells me he can get me out of this mess, but he's pretty sure you're fucked.